Sunday morning and Carrie has been here already to empty out the wax melter. One of my favorite pieces of equipment. Actually, it's a piece of equipment we're just taking for granted now because it just works so well. Wax shoveled in, wax poured out. Every day, every day, just fits the routine. So this place was shut down on Friday. At the end of the day, cleaned up, They're ready to go Monday. And I'm following through with my routine Sunday morning spinner cleanout. And today, well, every Sunday, I take a look to see how the wax is peeling off, to see how the machine has been performing. And I would say it has been performing spectacularly this entire production period, just by the way the wax is presenting itself. Definitely full in here. All right, with the water port, we, uh, we have a solenoid right there. So every time those pumps turn on and off, so does this water jet just to lubricate the knives. Keeps the wax a little bit easier, like flakier, I guess you could say. So I'm looking at the fallout and everything's keeping itself clear. There's no caking. There's just a little bit here, which is understandable. That's a pressure point. Everything's staying inside, or I should say outside the shroud then down and this year I've had no trouble with any of the workings underneath here once I got that new shaft in there with the bearings and new belts this thing has just been singing very quietly in the corner doing its job as you can see we have some granulation going on we are third week of August there's no doubt it's time to get this honey out of the comb. And inside the drum, I'm looking at how the wax is flowing through. And as we all understand, the, as this drum spins, the honey wax comes in and is shot against the wall. The honey forming a layer and the wax actually floating on top of that layer. And as that wax layer increases, this spinning knife continually shaves off the wax and drops it down into my pan, which and then we shovel into the melter. So I'm looking at the performance of this spinner and I'm seeing exactly what I want to see. You can see caked on wax. This is hard now because it's sat for two days, but you can see the, uh, the cracks because the honey layer which held the wax out is now when we dump the chambers it got pressed against the wall so you know naturally formed cracks so that's telling me that the honey layer has been maintaining uh, itself properly which tells me these ports these escape ports this is where you dump the honey from the uh, the chamber this is opened up releases the honey and then that wax is pressed out against the wall. So you can see that that's, that's formed properly. I see, I've looked for that every time because I'm never actually ever sure if these ports completely seal and if uh, that honey layer is actually, you know, not maintaining the depth it needs to be. This tells me it has been, that's good. It also tells me that there's a lot of honey coming through, which is good. Then I'm looking at the way the wax is presenting itself. So as it comes in this side, the wax builds and gets pushed down. So this wax layer continually gets pushed down. And as it gets pushed down, the knives shave off the wax as it's floating, right? You can see this ridge. This whole wax layer is kind of settled a little bit, but this, is, this ridge is the top of the knife. So there's pressure on the top of the knife there. I don't really like to see that, but it's telling me that the knife is cutting. There's a lot of pressure down on that wax, lots of wax coming through right now. 
And you'll also see it in the bottom because the, the knife doesn't go against, completely against the, uh, the bottom of the baffle. So you'll just see a little bit of more buildup at the bottom there. I'm also looking for the flaky nature of the wax. And it's there. So the course up top, because it's just come in and kind of that ground up flaky nature further down because this is where the knife is continually acting against it right just taking little little bits and pieces at a time as it goes so i'm happy this piece of equipment is probably my favorite piece of equipment in this entire honey house this spin float it makes me money i mean there is virtually no honey in that. Honey is money. I need the honey in that tank. And I hate the chore of skimming, uh, what do you call them, sumps, honey sumps. I did that for far too long. Gone with the sump, in with the spinner. I mean, the place just runs with teenagers. That's all I can see. So this spinner actually doesn't really need to be cleaned out. It is it is operating perfectly. But it's out. I'm going to clean it out to be ready to go for tomorrow. Correction. I'm not cleaning this out for the wax. I'm cleaning it out because of the granulated honey. must be a quarter inch of honey there and that impedes the flow of the honey down the wall and through the baffles we need to get this honey out of the comb